Hello, this is Brad the Mad 45 as always, and welcome back to Let's Play Yay 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 Arcade's Greatest Hits the Atari Collection 2. Yeah, that. I didn't just read that off the box. Um so last time we had a go question mark at Paperboy. And this time we're going to have a go at probably my favourite game of the whole collection, which is Gauntlet. So let's jump into this drain cover, or whatever it looks like. Let's, let's just do that. Let's wait till it loads. And here it is. Now, Gauntlet is a basically a, I don't know, it's an odd sort of, it's a dungeon crawler, that's what it is. So, what you want to do, what, what do you want, what, what do you want to do? So this game is basically a dungeon crawler. What you want to do first is click your character, there's four characters to choose from. Warrior does the best in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Elf is really quick. It basically looks like Link and Robin Hood combined. That blue one, which I just cannot pronounce, has got good armour. And Wizard, who we're going to be playing as, has got good magic and shooting shots. As if you can get any other sort of shots. Yeah. Another one. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Mr. Overworld fella. Right, as you can see, we're playing as God. He's just happy. He will smite anybody in the way. Treasure, 100 points. Yeah, that fella is... The, the rate is pretty good. Loses, you lose 10 health. Oh, that. Your health will also gradually decrease. Right, you can get into the exit straight away, but might as well have a good look around. No, run away from the ghost. It's like Scooby-Doo all of a sudden. Oh, Jesus. You want to just focus on destroying their spawners, which are the ghosts of these little skulls and crossbones of dead people. Fun fact, if you actually die in this, um, well, in two-player, your um, grave gets turned into a little um, ghost spawner. Right, look at all these fellas. Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> go, 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 go! <laughs> How about the <laughs> foul demons? <sighs> oh, there's still more. Going into this little doorway is a good, good um, way of protecting yourself from them. Die, die! No, not me, not me, die! I've not seen such bravery. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, the narrator in this is pretty much the best narrator I've ever heard. So, Wizard, your life force is running out. My life force is running out. I've not seen such bravery. <laughs> he is so astounded by my bravery. Oh, d you did. Yeah, by pressing the um, R1 button for this game, you can uh, add more coins to your health. Pretty much make, makes you invincible. So I'll be going until a nice level. Should imagine potions have, has a lesser effect. Now here's an interesting one. This is a... This level... Each level is, is quite clever because it has its... Um, it, each level is quite different. Because um, it has its own little maze sort of thing. This one... This one always used to stump um, me and my friends when we were... Young. Wizard against sorcerers. They turn invisible. 
wizard now has extra magic power. Extra magic power. Thank you. You see that angry looking fellow there? That's death. You don't want to be trifling with death this... No. That was a good shot by that little lobber there. Lobbers lob things. So I need a key first. So to get the key, just have to wander down it. It may look never ending, <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's, it's it's a really weird level, but they get stranger. And there's loads of lo loads of levels. I, I've never completed this. It'd be good for like a co-op project on this channel sometime. I like the way that uh, when he's actually fighting somebody, it looks like he's just petting them on the head. It's, I'm basically button mashing this. There's a key. Look at that ale. Doesn't that look delicious? Well. Remember, don't shoot food. Yeah, that's a that's that's a life lesson. Le lesson, lesson. This is what happens when death comes to trifle with you. You have to really mash it, button. You have to keep saving those potions for later use. They're transporters and they come with a pretty awesome effect. So, what we're going to do with the key? We're just going to wander up here and say hello to the other version of death. There's lots of death in this game, as you can probably tell. So the, Greek, the pumpkin faces are demons, the um, funny looking ones are thugs, and the little fellas are lobbers, the ones that go ew, that was a terrible impression, and the purple guys are sorcerer. Right, ready? I'm going to take out death first. Rah! <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Stop hitting me, you horrible people. Jeez. The angry people, these people. Now listen carefully to this. Traps make walls disappear. Traps make walls... Oh. <laughs> you didn't just see that. Traps make walls disappear. That basically means that um, somewhere a wall's gone and we can uh, access the middle bit now. However, this wall... If you look back in the video, that wall was there by behind that teleporter. So what we have to do is dung about until we get in here and then we have to face all these enemies that have been sizing us up all this time. I'm going to I've never seen such bravery. I, 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 that's the best quote ever. As, long, as well as um, don't, don't shoot the food. Jeez, they're everywhere. The lobbers are really easy to kill. Uh, but what a potion does is um, it eradicates all the enemies on the screen. And I decided to use a fancy word because I could. This extra magic power has been so helpful. It's so much easier to kill people take out these thugs because wizard's not very good at fighting he's a bit he's, he's a bit of a feeble old fella with a massive white beard my life boss is running pretty low come on lobbers are really annoying because they've got such a long shot Oh, food. Oh, shot the food. Remember, don't shoot the food. Some food times um, are invincible. You, just, you may call them superfoods. At least there's no death up here.
Exit. It's so barren now. Try and find a way out. <laughs> Try and find a way out. What good advice? Excellent advice. Right, there's two ways of um, getting out of that room. You can either destroy the wall or you can dong about. I'm going to destroy the wall now. The wall, maybe destroy it. Oh my god, death is so strong. That's not working. God against death. Anybody want to go against me in Mario Party? I thought not. So much button mashing is involved with facing death. I'm going to try and avoid death. Thank you. I'm rich. Oh, I might as well destroy this wall here. I did so well in my other playthrough play of this. Unfortunately, the commentary was absolutely naff. Come on. Thank you. Ah, attack, attack, attack. Different colours determine how strong the enemy is. Greyer ghosts mean that they're a bit more dead. Anyway, let's move on. Actually, I just think I was doing better in the last place. Right, go. I only got to this point before giving up. Go on, move. Move a little far. That is one strong key. It's keeping those demons back. Oh, that's so useful. Yep, just you just keep lining them up and I'll just keep knocking them down. Not working away. Don't eat me. No. Have at the vile demons of the deep dungeon. I'll just eat all these ghosts. Ah. Now, there is a few enemies. I think there's I, actually I don't think there's that many enemies that we and enemies that we haven't seen yet. Oh hello! No one gets so invisible guys. Corridor. These are bad sources because their houses were red. Oh, I've got plenty of keys. I might as well use them. Oh, hello, little fella. This is hard work. Basically, you button mash your way through the dungeons of this game. Keeping your eye out for several hidden secrets. Hidden secrets. Like those seen secrets that you get. Be very careful not to awaken death with that. Wizard is about to die. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I got another potion. That's a bit of a potent potion. What am I going to do now? A little bit. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was too close. What a waste of a key as well. Oh, it looks like I'm backtracking. Ooh. Oh god, here come the uh, demons. The demon brig brigade. Hello. I'm going to drink some ale. Oh, here comes blooming death. <laughs> death is a right pain in the neck. And every, everywhere else, I would reckon. Right. So there's that.
Right time to free these ghosts, me think. I don't have any keys, which is a major problem at this stage in the game. Ah, oh, there we go, that's one. Well, that was an accident, but it, that shows what, what a potion does. And I've got an itchy ear. But of course, that was interesting. Right, here we go. Let's have a nice drink to our success. Let me in. Jeez. Oh, this, well, this one's a tricky one. They get trickier as they go along, and this is only level 10. Because we've skipped a few levels. Now, let's see what's up here. Come on. Come on, there we go. Demons. Pumpkins. The lobber. Why am I running so low on keys? They have been everywhere, that's the problem. Uh, be right back, and I'm going to find some keys. In fact, I might speed this up instead. Never mind. It appears that all the doors have been unlocked because I'm enabled of getting keys, everything's free. Oh, well, I, might have, I might have found a secret or I might have just been bad. Anyway, I'll drink to that. Keys are not worth anything now. Riches! Riches! Riches galore. No, not, not witches, riches! Oh, dear me. I don't want people to get the wrong end of this stick. Look then. They're being kept in by a key. That makes a novel change of... Um, yeah, change of perspective. That's what I'm, the word that I'm thinking about. Okay, oh look at this. Delicious. Oh no, here comes Death. I'm gonna give myself finger cramp by the end of this. <laughs> Almost there. Look how many keys I've got. I I'm Captain Key Man. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the key for my immense key collection. Bombs are key. I cannot remember this one. But this one looks really funky. Oh, it's one with breakable wall. And oh! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have paid a bit more attention to that guy when he said that I need, need food. Oh my god, that was too close. Wizard now has extra speed. <laughs> Look at Wizard go! He's a fast magic man. Oh my god, have I reached hell? hell? This death alley? I do not want to free you. Oh no! That was a trap. It's a trap! Delicious. Oh 
thief! He's a thief! Now that's always an anxious moment. If you hear a little dingily, that means there's a thief on the way. Be right back. And we're off. Oh, I teleported on top of the lobber and killed him. Oh, poor little fella. Oh, death is fuming up there. Look at him. Oh, it makes me so mad. <laughs> That's the last time we do an impression of anybody. This, this drink's going to be the death of me, but still. So strong. Ooh, ooh. Do you want to go on a mad key adventure? Oh, wait a second. I am armed to the teeth. Dear me. So. No, stay away. Oh, I'm going to dig to... I, I want this beer. Death will not deny me my beer. I might actually just keep recording this and make this just a massive episode. Oh, I'll split it in two. Who knows? I'll get a decent way in and then stop. Ah, come on. I don't quite know what I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> Maybe I should have paid more attention to where the exits are. I've reached a monster room. Oh, no, that's the exit. Okay. G give me that treasure and let me get out of here. Oh, hello. Wizard now has limited invisibility. Awesome. Limited invisibility you get from the pendency. Unfortunately, it means you also don't know where you are, either. Give me those riches. There we go.